Have you ever imagined what it would be like hunting with eagles, or maybe seeing a harmonious partnership between humans and birds as they conquer the challenging terrain and command the skies together? Located in Central Asia and with a small part of its territory in Western Europe, Kazakhstan has an ancient history, myths, and a dispute between nomads, ancestral branches, and even the Russians during the Soviet Union era. With its seemingly endless, empty landscapes, the landlocked country holds a sense of mystery filled with unique art and culture that can't be found anywhere else. Despite its sparse population, the country is home to some of the toughest and most resilient people on Earth, the Kazakhs. Oh yeah, did we mention that it is the ninth largest country in the world? This is the way of Kazakh. History Kazakhstan is a country with a rich and diverse culture steeped in a vast historical past and situated in the heart of the Eurasian continent. It has been the birthplace and site of the development for ancient civilizations, where various cultures have mixed and intermingled. The Kazakhs are a semi-nomadic people who have been roaming the mountains and valleys of western Mongolia with their herds since the 19th century. They became an independent people in 1465 after part of the tribes of the White Horde fought against oppression by the ruler Abulkar Khan under the leadership of the sultans Kari and Zinibek. Seeking freedom, these tribes migrated to the valley of the Chu River and adopted the self-name Cossack, which migrated to other languages while retaining its meaning from the Turkic language. The Kazakhs value their oral history and rely heavily on their clan, remembering at least seven generations of their ancestors' names to not forget where they come from. Kazakh culture reflects the history of the nomadic tribes that roamed the Kazakh steppe, shaping their unique worldview, eclectic customs and traditions, and blending with neighboring cultures. In the 19th and 20th centuries, many Kazakhs adopted a more sedentary lifestyle, leading to the development of new cultural characteristics such as huge, glittering modern cities. Today, Kazakhstan culture represents the peoples of large swaths of Central Asia, capturing the nomadic spirit in various forms of arts and traditions. Crafts of Kazakhstan the nomadic lifestyle, which forms the foundation of Kazakhstan's culture, has had a significant influence on their traditional crafts. While on the move, people created everything they needed to survive and make their journey comfortable. Kazakh crafts reflect the transient nature of their people and are characterized by essential items for survival such as woodworking, felt for yurt upholstery, and horse riding equipment. Due to the harsh climate of the steppe, Kazakhs developed handicrafts for making warm fur coats and hats from leather and animal fur. Blacksmithing and jewelry making were also popular crafts. Despite successfully integrating into the global community in the 21st century, Kazakhstan has made a concerted effort to preserve its cultural heritage and traditions. Knowledge and ways of life passed down from ancient ancestors who conquered and roamed the Kazakh steppe are still being taught to future generations. Travelers can learn more about Kazakh culture in the country's numerous museums or during festivals and holidays. Kazakhstan National Cuisine Kazakhstan's national cuisine is a blend of diverse cultures, reflecting the country's history of people who have been long accustomed to living side by side with many other ethnicities. Today, Kazakhstan's population includes immigrants from neighboring nations and foreigners who have fallen in love with the country and chosen to relocate here. Therefore, Kazakh cuisine is not limited to traditional dishes but also features influences from Russian, European, Oriental, and Caucasian neighbors. While few restaurants in Kazakhstan serve exclusively Kazakh food, Authentic dishes can be found on the menu of most Oriental and European-style cafes and during special holidays. The national dish of Kazakhstan is Beshbarmak, a filling meal of meat and noodles. Hearty soups, cocktail fish, and the famous horse meat sausage called kazi are also common. Kazakhstan's national cuisine is also renowned for its fermented milk products, like kurmis being the most notable. Kazakh lagman is a delicious noodle dish and one of the best in the world. Lagman is originally a Uyghur dish, but became assimilated into cuisine under the influence of the 275,000 Uyghurs who reside in the country. Surprisingly, there are many people in this meat-loving country who are on a diet or have given up meat entirely. This trend has led to the opening of eateries offering nutritious vegetarian options including restaurants specializing in vegetarian food. Vegetarian options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner are also available in many coffee shops and Asian establishments. With the rising popularity of vegetarian food in Kazakhstan, the assortment of vegan and vegetarian dishes will likely increase. Kazakhstan tours should include not just sightseeing, but the culinary delights of Kazakh national cuisine in all its multinational variety. Kazakh Folk Songs Songs occupy a special place in the musical culture of the people of Kazakhstan. Folk singers, known as Akins, perform these songs using a traditional musical instrument called Dombra. Akins have always been highly respected by the people and remain in special honor among the population. For centuries, they have been the most welcome guests for any celebration and event. Folk singers often perform in a song and poetry competition called Adis, where everyone has to show their skills and talents. 
The winner is determined not only by their ability to captivate the audience with their music and song, but also by their improvisational abilities. The profession of an Aiken is considered a difficult profession as it requires a person to possess a sensitive perception of the world, a great memory, and strong associative abilities. Moreover, the songs were often performed orally, without musical accompaniment, making it a true testament to the Aiken's own work, performed from memory or improvised in front of the guests. The most striking works are considered to be wedding songs, which often had an instructive character. Some of the most popular songs include Zarjar, Kashtasu, Tan Yusu, and Toy Bastar. Ritual songs, on the other hand, are sung at funerals and are known to evoke emotions of grief, longing, sadness, and sorrow. There are even whole cycles of funeral and memorial songs dedicated to the loss of loved ones, such as Zilau, Dayus, Zermabes, and others. Hunting with Eagles For thousands of years, hunting with eagles has been an integral part of the nomad culture in Central Asia. Many Kazakh nomads who engage in this practice reside in Western Mongolia, having fled there from Kazakhstan after the Russians took over and attempted to abolish their nomadic ways. The annual Golden Eagle Festival, which supports and celebrates this ancient tradition, takes place in this region. During the festival, Kazakh nomads enter to compete and show off their skills while dressed in traditional furs. The hunter, with the eagle perched on their arm, rides on a horse while wearing a special glove designed to support the bird's weight. Eagles can weigh up to 15 pounds, 7 kilograms, and sometimes spread their impressive 6-7 to seven foot wingspan while riding, requiring the use of a stick called a baldock that is connected to the saddle to support the rider's arm. These majestic birds possess eyesight four to eight times better than humans, which the hunter uses to his advantage by taking the eagle to a mountaintop or hill for a clear view of the valley. Eagles can dive at speeds up to 190 miles per hour, 305 kilometers per hour, targeting the neck and quickly killing small prey. Sometimes larger game may need additional assistance from the hunter. Although eagles wear a cap or helmet that prevents them from seeing, it is removed when the hunter is ready for the eagle to hunt. When the eagle spots the prey, it is trained to swoop down and catch or kill it for the hunter. After the hunt, the hunter rides down the mountain to retrieve the animal. In some cases, eagles can be trained to kill without leaving a mark, which allows the nomad to sell the fur for a premium. The eagle is always rewarded with some of the meat. It is important to note that the eagle is not tethered in any way and always returns to the hunter after the hunt. Today, the Kazakh nomads remain one of the few cultures that still practice hunting with golden eagles as a way of life. Legends and Myths The nature of Kazakhstan strikes and surprises with its primordial creations. After all, it is in this country that almost every site has a well-coordinated legend. One of these amazing places is the Grove of Dancing Birches in Barovo National Park. This grove is a unique place and once you get into it, you seem to come into contact with the world of mysterious nature and mysterious legends. There are many different legends about the appearance of this grove and one of them tells of a story from ancient times. It is said that at the foot of Mount Burabe, people lived and often held crowded festivities with various competitions accompanied by songs and dances. Even the Khan, their ruler, also wanted to look at such cheerful people but could not appear in his own form, for he knew that as soon as they saw him they would be embarrassed and unable to behave in the same direct manner. Therefore, he went to the festival with only one guard, dressed in ordinary clothes. When the holiday was in full swing, girls ran out into the clearing, one more beautiful than the other. The Khan was so carried away by such a stunning spectacle that he forgot himself and ran out with an exclamation, Long ears to your beauty! The girls, recognizing the ruler, were so embarrassed and frightened that they froze in the same place, turning into white birches. So the wish of the Khan was fulfilled, and to this day the beauty of girls in the form of graceful birches attracts both locals and tourists. Although the Kazakhstan touring infrastructure has improved drastically over the years, it's still not quite up to Western standards. But albeit, it all depends on where you go. Although Almaty and Astana are very comfortable, if you venture farther into the country, you'll definitely find bumpy dirt roads on overland journeys unpaved sidewalks and variable quality and availability of public restrooms. But one thing is certain, it is sure to be an unforgettable journey for all who wish to visit. Hope you enjoyed our scoop on this wonderful country and its people. Before we leave, let us know what you think is the most unique tradition of the Kazakh in the comment section. Thanks for watching.